What is going on? It's Styler here and welcome to another China smartphone video. So in this video I will show you the new Yumi Hammer in black and unlike the white test version I showed a month ago on my channel, this version here is the final version. If you should be interested in this phone then remember to check the video description for more info. So the Yumi Hammer comes with the 64-bit MTK6732 clocked at 1.5 GHz, 2 GB RAM, 16 GB ROM. It comes out of the box with Android 4.4.4 KitKat. It has support for 4G LTE, dual SIM. It has a 5-inch one-glass solution IPS HD screen and a 13 megapixel rear camera. So the force of the Yumi Hammer is the robust build quality and it's very solid so you can actually drop the phone without being afraid that it will break. So uh, here you see I have the white version of the Yumi Hammer here and this is the test version, one of the latest engineering samples. We have here the final version in black, so you see the Yumi logo on the front saying Root Joy also. So it's a nice box here actually and uh, we see here the Yumi logo again. On the back we find the specifications here and we find some text in English. And uh, also we find the email numbers here. Again we see here the Yumi logo, the model number and the website. We also find a CE logo. Let's open up, we see here the blue box. Very nice packaging and box here from Yumi. So let's open up here. And uh, you see here, this is the black version here, but it looks exactly the same as the white, as far as I can see. Let's see what we else have here. We have here a quick start guide, same hammer here, and we have a picture with some instructions and specifications. Then we have here the micro USB cable so you can charge it, you can connect it to the PC. Seems to be in the same quality as what came with the Yumi Zero. Very nice. Then we also here find the wall charger, so this seems to be a standard wall charger in a good quality here, again branded and we see it's here a 5 volt 1 ampere, so very standard. And last we find here, I think this is some kind of stand for the phone in plastic here and we see it saying hammer here we also see the website designed by Yumi in China so uh, that's it for the unboxing let's have a look on the phone let's remove the plastic here so you see here the black version very nice. Let's compare this with the white version I have here. So we see they are one to one. They are identical. There are no changes here. Everything seems to be the same. Both have dual LED. You see the hammer logo here and the rear speaker. Let's see here on the side, in the top we find the 3.5mm headphone jack together with the micro USB. We see the plastic here, it's white on the white and black on the black. This side is just plain, there's nothing. Here we have the microphone, also placed the same spot here on both. On this side we find the power button and the volume rocker. Seems to be the same quality on both. Let's see here on the front. 
So the black version is really, really black, as you can see. It looks like one big piece, one big glass actually. And you, you can see the bezels here on the black version and uh, actually I like that. While on the white version you actually can see uh, how big the bezels are. So in my opinion the black version looks a little bit more premium here and uh, I really like the version here in black. Let's have a look on the buttons here. They are also the same. But uh, here on the black you see there is a screen protector. So this is pre-installed from the factory. That's why you see there's small bubbles maybe. And uh, we see here on the white version on in the corner here we have the 4G logo. In silver this one is not on the black version maybe uh, because you can't see it on the black or they just forgot it but of course both phones support 4G also let's have a look here on the back side so they are also just the same only the color is black or white and uh, here you see the back side So it also looks to be exactly the same, even the battery is the same. See the rear speaker. Let's have a look on the batteries. So they have the same size, the same thickness. So I believe it's the same kind of batteries. All the informations uh, are actually nearly the same. Also we see it's a 2250mAh on both. Only the text on the barcode seems to be a little bit bigger on the final version. So uh, the only difference uh, on these two uh, is that the white version came with a uh, early uh, firmware, not really finished. But uh, I was able to download the final firmware from needrom.com and uh, flash this to the white version. So uh, right now the white version is actually almost the same as the final uh, black version here. Uh, because the hardware is already identical with the final version. Uh, I believe the, f uh, the white version I got here is one of the late engineering uh, samples or test samples. Uh, very close to final. So uh, that's why uh, I could just flash it. And then I actually upgraded to the final. But uh, overall I really like the black version here. Uh, I like the black more than the white because it looks more premium. The bezels are not that clear on the black than on the white. And uh, let me just power up both phones here. And we see the same Yumi logo on both. Clearly because I flashed the same firmware on both. We see the Android logo here. And here we have the phone, let's just check here the brightness. So the brightness is full on both devices. Let's see in the settings here. Let's go to the settings and uh, just scroll a little bit here. So you see we have gesture sensing, but we have the same settings on both. We have smart wake also. Let's check about. And uh, here you see the build number is also the same. Android version is the same. So the baseband version seems not to be the same, but that's just a minor change. Let's see here what we else have here. Let's just check out the storage. On the right we have here available total space 12.77 gigabyte. On the black we have a little bit less. So that's also not completely the same. Let's get back here. And uh, let me just turn off the screen on both. Unlock. Let's scroll a little bit here in the UI. Let's check here the app drawer. 
So that's it for now. Stay tuned on my channel. If you have any questions or requests, please comment below. Give a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.